Speaker, my next question is also to the Premier. Uh, yesterday, we asked the Minister of Community Safety regarding the serious concerns raised about the Premier's appointment of a new OPP commissioner. iPolitics has just broken a story. They report that when the top job with the Ontario Provincial Police was posted in October, Ron Taverner couldn't apply because his rank was too low. Then, two days later, the requirements suddenly changed. Can the Premier tell us if the Premier's office had anything to do with this change, or did the Premier recuse himself from that decision? Premier. Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. Thank you, Speaker. As was reported, there was a change in the qualification uh, request for the uh, ad, but right, from, what, from reading the reports, it was to ensure that more people applied. We wanted to make sure that Opposition the best come to to head for our Kingston, OPC the islands, come to was order. going to apply. The hiring firm made that decision, and it's been done. Frankly, I find it pretty offensive that someone who has spent literally decades Position, come to order. in our public service has been suggested that he is not qualified to serve as the commissioner for the OPP. That's what I find offensive. <laughs> Supplementary. Well, Speaker, what is shocking is that this minister just admitted that this, the hiring process was changed so that a certain someone, like the Premier's friend, would suddenly be able to qualify for this job. That's what the minister has just told this House. People have raised serious concerns about this appointment and the process. Chris Lewis, the former OPP commissioner, has claimed, quote, the fix was in from day one. Now it looks as though the government literally rewrote the job description so a friend of the Premier's could apply for the job. Will the government commit to a transparent and impartial review of this hiring process for this incredibly important position? Members take their seats. Minister. The Independent Hiring Committee unanimously supported the uh, appointment of Ron Travner. I was happy to endorse that at Cabinet last Thursday, but I want to remind people that it wasn't just about us. Jo Rob Jamison, president of the Ontario Police Association, on behalf of the uniformed and civilian members of the OPPA, I would like to welcome our new commissioner. We look forward to working collaboratively with Commissioner Ron Tavner, someone who has such a proven track record in law enforcement. If I may, Speaker. Bruce Chapman, president of the Police Association of Ontario. I've known Center, Superintendent Rob Travener for 30 plus years. He's a hardworking, progressive, and dedicated officer. Ron is a great choice to lead Ontario Police Service. And the Chief of Police for, for the City of Toronto. The City of Toronto's loss by leaving the by having Rob order. Travener leave Response. is actually the OPP's gain. He will be an excellent officer. Sure. 